Hey guys, Chubby Butcher here. Today I woke up in a cold sweat, wondering what to cook. I'm craving something different. I thought about it for about 10 seconds and then it hit me like a frying pan over the head. Today on the menu, fresh wild caught haddock deep fried in beer batter. Now I usually cook it outside, but the weather's not great today, so we'll be cooked inside. I will be serving steak cut fries, coleslaw, and homemade tartar sauce. With that being said, let's go. Okay guys, for this fantastic recipe, you will need four pieces of wild-caught fresh haddock, one bottle of beer, one bag of Rocky Madison Fish Crisp, the beer batter, one tablespoon of cornstarch, three-quarter cup of pancake batter, one half teaspoon of cornstarch, canola oil, one bag of coleslaw, one bottle of coleslaw dressing, and homemade tartar sauce. To make the tartar sauce, you will need one cup of mayonnaise, four diced dill mini pickles, and one teaspoon of real lemon juice. Okay guys, to make this super simple coleslaw, you're going to need one bag of coleslaw, obviously, and you're going to need one cup of coleslaw dressing and two squirts of lemon juice. Pretty simple. Sometimes, depending on the bag of coleslaw you're using, you might need more than a cup of coleslaw dressing. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this. So probably one and a half cups of coleslaw dressing. Okay guys, to make this tartar sauce, you will need four diced mini dill pickles, one cup of mayonnaise, and two squirts of lemon juice. I just got my new knives in from Victoria Knox. They are beauts. To make this crispy beer batter, you will need a half a bag of Rocky Madison Fish Crisp beer batter. If you're making more than four pieces, you want to add the whole bag. Three quarters of a cup of pancake batter. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Now depending on how thick you like it, will depend on how much beer you put in. I like mine 
a little bit thicker. And you'll have to play with it to get it to the right consistency. Okay guys, for our steak cut fries, we're gonna add about one cup of canola oil in a cast iron frying pan. Okay guys, to deep fry the fish, you're going to need to heat up the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for two to four minutes until it's golden brown. I'm going to add the canola oil now. You're going to add about two cups of canola oil. Okay guys, we're going to batter our fresh wild haddock. Before I do that, I always pat it down. Make sure you get all the moisture out of the fish. You want it as dry as possible. You're going to put it in the batter. You're going to have one hand clean and one hand for the batter. And you want to do a drip off. Again, pat it down. Okay guys, we're going to drop in a few of these steak cut french fries. We got the oil heated up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that's where you want to be. Now make sure when you're putting these in, you put them in nice and slow. Okay guys, the fries are cooking nicely. I got the oil heated up to about 360 degrees Fahrenheit for the fish. You're gonna to wanna to cook this for about two to four minutes till it's golden brown. Let's add the first one in, and remember guys to be careful and add it in slow. Okay guys, it's been about four minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and they are nicely golden brown. We're going to pull them off. Okay guys, the fish and fries are all fried up. It is exciting times here, I'm not gonna lie. Coleslaw is ready for duty, and homemade tartar sauce is ready to roll. Here we go. Amazing. The fries are so crispy. The tartar sauce is amazing. You guys gotta try this. And it's not that hard to make, guys. If you guys like what you've seen today, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I upload every week. If you hit the bell, you'll be for sure to get it.
Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.